we are looking at chapter number 16 which is management of natural resources question answers on management of natural resources first is what changes would you suggest in your home in order to be environment friendly the first is because uh, waste is always there so, if uh, you are able to segregate the recyclable and non-recyclable waste, right, green and non-green waste, then it will be very good. Always use the water and electricity judiciously. Do not waste food. Take only that much of food which is required. Don't waste food. And uh, as far as newspaper and plastic items are concerned, uh, basically plastic items is a very big concern then use uh, plastic items again and again and uh, because newspaper comes from ultimately trees these papers so you can reuse newspapers and uh, always uh, use the natural light and air so keep windows open in order to prevent use of fan and follow three r's which are reduce recycle and reuse reduce Recycle and reuse. Can you suggest some changes in your school which would make it environment friendly? Yes. There are so many which, which you can add up with uh, these outlined, uh, but we'll uh, give some of them and you can add with them also. First of all, try to grow the trees along the boundary wall. Trees give you fresh air, they give you oxygen, they uh, in, the, in the sunlight, hot sunlight, they give you a shelter. Grow shrubs and small plants on the sides of internal roads and around the roads. Again, same thing, good greenery and good health. If you have a rooftop, try to harvest water from this rooftop in order to water these plants which you intend to grow or you have grown. Then uh, the seminars and poster exhibitions are, are, are always the part of school, any school, any, any college. So these poster and seminars should be on the awareness programs for, for making and uh, how to make environment good, means for living purposes. Avoid wastage of water and paper. It can be recycled for handicraft purposes because water and pa paper, water, you know, it's very important for life and paper comes from trees that again, in turn, are important for life. We saw in this uh, discussion or this topic that there are four main stakeholders when it comes to forest and wildlife. Which among these should have the authority to decide the management of forest produce? Whatever forest produces, who should have this authority and why do you think so? First of all, the people, people who live in or around forest, they are totally dependent on this forest because they don't have anything, uh, you know, they can produce everything. They are totally dependent on the products of forest for various aspects of their life. And the forest department that owns the land and controls the forest resources, uh, and they are produced, there is a forest department, then the wildlife and the uh, nature enthusiasts who are uh, activists or who you can say who want to conserve the nature because they know the power of the nature and the importance of them, uh, the nature uh, in its original form as far as possible. The local people who live in and around the forest, they must have more say deciding the management of forest produce because they are totally dependent on this and they also help in growing them, yes, to maintain them. So they take the materials only up to their needs from the forest resources and they always try to replenish these resources. They don't uh, misuse them. How, how can you as an individual contribute to make a difference to the management of forest and wildlife, water resources, coal and petroleum? As an individual, what you can do to actually, you know, work for the preservation and improvement of these. 
for forest and wildlife you can take part in community activities which focus on conserving the forest and wildlife because awareness is important when you know then you will do as a tourist follow all principles of uh, conservation just don't uh, throw waste cut trees and just be a conservative or or an activist you know that they are going to help you anyways help organization engaged in conservation of forest and wildlife in your free time then water resources always in domestic use use water judiciously you can also install system for rainwater harvesting then coal and petroleum whenever required wherever required save electricity always install electric gadget with 6 uh, or 5 star power rating that is they use less power and try to use public transport because they this this usage will decrease the use of the coal and petroleum products what uh, can you as an individual do to reduce your consumption of various natural resources what can you can do as i said because we have discussed it already you need to save electricity do not waste your food save water wherever it is possible and use cooking gas don't use wood because wood is very precious use cooking gas instead of wood for cooking and always 3 hours should be in your mind reduce recycle and reuse list five things you have done over the last one week to conserve our natural resources increase the pressure on our natural resources so whatever you are thinking also you can put down here because now you know the importance of natural resources so you can uh, answer like this five things you have done to conserve the natural resources you have used energy efficient uh, electrical appliances and as much as electricity you desire or you would require you have used you have not wasted any electricity and while you are brushing your teeth you or any, anything you are doing you have minimized the water usage or you have closed the water tap in order to please clean your uh, teeth and you have convinced your mother to ask her and uh, to convince her to make food in solar cooker rather than you know wasting the natural resources uh, content and you have used the public transport you have not used car or your active or scooter uh, parent car instead you have uh, forced them or you have requested them that you will use public transport and uh, what things you have done to increase the pressure on uh, natural resources you went to a school on a bike instead of cycle this is what you uh, actually forgot to do and you have actually uh, pressurized the natural resources you have you are not using cycle rather you are using a bike you forgot to switch off fan fan contains motor 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 uses out or takes out more electricity than other gadgets everything which has motor it takes more electricity to run so you forgot to switch off fan you wasted food you you wanted uh, four chapatis you ate only two so you wasted food and uh, uh, because of a uh, wrong printing or not uh, giving you know concentration you printed something which has error so you printed 50 pages without uh, correcting them and then you again printed 50 pages so you you used more paper than required for printing on computer and also you wasted water resources maybe maybe any any anything you know you can say that uh, brushing teeth etc on the basis of the issue raised in this particular topic that is natural resources conservation of natural resources what changes would you incorporate in your lifestyle in a move towards sustainable use of our resources again the same question so there are various method of producing uh, this is by mistake so let us remove it so what we what uh, things can you write just ignore this we'll move uh, in public transport because it conserve petrol instead of coal or natural gas why not to use solar energy for cooking and 
the renewable resources we need to harness them and will obey rationalize husbanding of renewable resources so try to use them then the pollution which is occurring in the environment why not to take care to reduce the pollution reduce the pollution uh, and, and you know you can work for waste management also right and uh, should realize that we are living in community and we are not alone there are flora and fauna there and you have you need to take care of them right it's not only it's not only our life it's not our our uh, uh, world it, this is the world carried out or being uh, inhabited by various various organisms flora and fauna so these were question and answer on the natural resources thank you so much and take care of yourself